But then I'm gonna show you how we put together these deep frames, wooden frames with Premier foundation. Of course it works for any type of foundation, but this is what we're using here is this Premier Extra Heavy Wax Foundation. So what we have here is we have this jig. It, you can do 10 frames at once in here. It works really well. I got this from Hilco. We're gonna use some Tight Bond 2 glue. Of course, we got the stapler. It's quarter inch crown, 18 gauge, uh, inch and a quarter staples. We're just gonna use this one size. Some people use a couple different sizes, but we're just gonna use this for everything today. And here are the frame pieces. We got the end, ends of the frames, top bars, and the bottom bars. Of course, here is this beautiful Premier Foundation. Extra heavy wax. Smells so good. Okay, so we got the first 10 ends on here. We got them stacked like this. So we're gonna take this little silicone, I think it's a silicone brush we got at Lowe's. You can use it over and over again. It apply. It does a great job applying the glue. It's gonna take the wood glue. We're gonna put it in here. I, I like to use it liberally, make sure we have a good, make sure we have plenty of glue here. I really work at it to get it down in this part right here. The staples hold these together, but I think the glue is actually the key to, to really hold them together even better. Okay, then we're gonna put them in here like this. This is loose. You wanna lean them towards the back a little bit, otherwise they'll fall down that groove right there and you have to get them out. So I kinda lean them back a little bit. Get the other 10 like this, same thing. Just gonna apply the glue in there liberally. Make sure we got that surface area covered as good as possible. Okay. Just a little trick when you're when you're done with the glue, just leave the brush with it. The, it'll dry on the brush and you can just pull the glue out of the brush. You don't have to really clean the brush in any way. Once the glue dries, it just peels right off of that brush. It's pretty cool. This jig has been a game changer too. I got this jig, like I say, from Hilco, and I've been real happy with it. I actually wanna give Jeff at Premier Foundation a little bit of a shout out too. He actually sent me a video of how they utilize this jig and put their frames together there, and that's how I learned how to do this. You take this right here and you push them together. It, it kinda of holds the frames in place, nice and snug. Then you take the top bars and you just put them right in the groove there. Go all the way down the line. It's a little bit tedious, but man, it's so much easier than actually having to do them one by one. I can't imagine that. You can take a rubber mallet, you can just make sure they're pushed down really good, whatever you want to do. And then I take my staples here. Now, once again, these are quarter inch by inch and a quarter staples, 18 gauge. And I've been putting two across the top of each frame. So all you gotta do is just take this jig and flip it over like this. So you gotta be careful because they will fall out if you lift it out totally, but and then you just do the bottom bars. Same thing. Okay, and then we're gonna staple them, just one staple on the bottom. I like to take this thing and flip it around just because it's easier for my staple gun. It's just going to release the pressure here and that loosens up the boards here so you can just pick this up like this. I'll shake a little bit and there are your frames. The boards right here that are holding them in place.
Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull it at an angle to make sure that it's secure in the top. Basically a 10 degree angle, it's not exact, but I'm using the same staples. Some people use one inch, but I'm gonna use the same staples. I'll just do it like this. Under the top bar there. And that is secure, a secure frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that with the rest of these. We can have all 10 of them done. Okay, we got these 10 done right here. Now, the last part is we just gotta get foundation. It's real simple. Just put one end over here, like this, in the groove. I'll say it's simple. And there it is. It's ready to go. Now I've never really used any other types of plastic foundation, but the Premier is pretty flexible, which makes it easy to insert into the frames. So, oh, it smells good. And I've had good success so far using this Premier foundation in my hives this year. And I expect continued success. So that's how we do it. Pretty simple. The jig makes all the difference. It's really easy to do. You can knock out quite a few of them in a hurry. Well, that's it for now. Y'all take care. Be safe and we'll catch you on the next one.